Hey everybody, I'm Penrose 776 You're looking at a parade. I'm back, baby. Uh, by which I mean I never really left. We've made a couple changes. Legendary Byleth is here. Everyone likes no follow-up. And he's got Windsweep as well. And also, on near safe plus three, my beautiful baby Arden. Um, looks like a bit of a weird build, but trust me, there are reasons for everything in this kit. <laughs> Svalen Shield, just forget about it. Gatekeeper is on the enemy team. Brave Marth, Regan at plus one, Ashera, Faye plus ten, and Legendary Edelgard for our first match with our new team. And oh no, I've just realized what they're doing. Oh no. Oh no, so something Gatekeeper does, people, something Gatekeeper does is he prevents walking a single strike. within a four tile radius. Now I'm not I'm not gonna say this, you didn't hear this from me, but if you want to beat a Catria Ball team, here's how you do it. You put Gatekeeper in range and then tank from very far away. Because as you can just see here. Gatekeeper and Gatekeeper alone is the one thing who can completely break the team's AI. With all of these units are going to try and hit Marth, and since they don't meet their windsweep checks against him, they just get vantaged and then subsequently um, deadened. For the oh yeah, that's going to sting a bit. 99 damage. None of these units can teleport about due to Gatekeeper being right there, so they're kind of forced to wound a single file to their deaths. Well, hey, at least Arvin can. Ain't no way I'm gonna die. Ah. A single strike. At least Arvin can die. He was only eight hit points off, so a uh, pretty, pretty decent performance, all things considered. There, but um. You know, I can't help but notice that these guys have, how do you say it, yeah. messed up a little, because Flora kills. No. Yeah, without your special pre-charged, you can't kill all of my units. Mirabilis now hitting Gatekeeper, and do I want to keep going? They do stand a chance here. Honestly, we've only got a very small number of units left. Share is very cool animation still, but it does kill Mirabilis. And Reagan can still kill Flora, no problem. So that just leaves Seros. Okay, yeah, they've won. Seros, no damage destruction because the ruse is a little bit more important in my book. And behold. Regan, are you, you okay there? Regan, you, you all right, buddy? Um, you, you. What I'm guessing they're trying to do here is sneak past Flora and go for the pots in the top corner, but that isn't going to work because that is the real trap. You fool! You buffoon! You yeah, there, there we go. There's the victory. Not exactly a deserved victory, but a victory nonetheless. I'll take it. Next up here, we have Rayson, plus 10, Ninja Lin, plus 6, Naga, plus 10, Altina, plus 9, Duo Heart Sigurd, plus 3, and 4, plus 1, the new method. And I've just noticed where the blooming bolt tower is. You better not point that thing at me, buddy. Yeah, I... You can see what they're going to do from a mile off. Here it comes. Bolt tower, 45 damage. Ninja Lin. Ice Mirror almost saves us, but not quite. Dance. Oh, going for Mirabilis first, interesting. I would have gone Catria straight away just to get her Jura skills all online, but we've got plenty of time. 
to um, run away. Guess that works as well, huh? And without any dancers, there's there's still a fair bit of range extension we can do apparently because you didn't kill Catria. Good job, Violet. And you may also notice Picnic Flora is also in range. Sigurd has a whole bunch of being dead to catch up on. Um, and now look what we've done. Yeah, Arden there is a brilliant save wall against their melee units. They can't break through him. Surrender. Who is up next? All right, seeing some more new units here. First up, Sentient Legion. Ninjorin, um, push three? Push three? Fair enough. Regin, Plumeria at plus two. Sheeta, Harmonic Sheeta. And Atri at plus two. Atri, very strong. I've been watching what Theology have been doing with Atri recently. It's kind of, kind of disgusting. Kind of messed up. And again, stop putting your bolt towers down there. Why would you do this to me, to my beautiful team? Can't believe this. Can't believe this nonsense, honestly. Anyway, turn free. Bolt tower, there it is. No, no move. Okay. Sure. Never mind, we've, we've won. We've won. There's nothing they can do to us anymore. Watch. Watch. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Huh? 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 It's turn four, going into turn five. Now our safe tanks are fully healed back up. Oh, going, going for Mirabilis. Going for Mirabilis, are you? Can you kill Mirabilis? No, you bloody can't. And that's, that's where they're... Yeah, they're not getting very far from here, honestly, um, because that harmonic shooter is dead. You cannot stop the flow of time. She couldn't stop the flow of time. Um, and odds are Regan's probably dead. Yep, there we go. Here is something to believe in. And who was that sitting behind Regan? Plumeria? Yeah, also dead. Would you look at that? And to add on some for injury, it's turn 6 out of 7, so yeah, you're out of time and out of options. There's our surrender. Who wants to go next? Looks like we have here Duo Peony, Harmonic Leaf, Regan, Legion, Ascendant Legion, Ninja Lin, and Naga. There's plus four, the only most unit here. And, oh, look at that. This, this is someone who knows. They know, my friends, how to actually break that catapult, which is annoying because, um, now watch this. They're going to wait until turn three. You see the pattern here. Honestly, who invented Bolt Tower? Who invented Bolt Tower? And who thought that Bolt Tower should go up to 45 damage? You know, if it, 35 was bad enough. 40 was, like, just an absolute nightmare to deal with. 45? Disgrace Lisa Brand. Yeah, not not gonna happen. Um, oh, we're going in with Naga, Wings of Mercy from across the map. <sighs> Actually, a really smart move there because who else is gonna kill Arden, huh? 
Now, this Don't ninja worry. lin player, this ninja lin player does know to kill the Cantria. Duo Peony with the dance. Ninja Lin with the extra action. Yeah, that's a kill. And now they're gonna do some more nonsense. Yep, there's some more nonsense. Lin kills Violet and Regan now kills Picnic Flora and to add insult to injury this they are you. out of range of Seiros entirely. That's how it goes, I'm afraid. The only way to stop this kind of team from going all out is stopping them from getting that first attack in entirely. And when they've got 40, 45 damage worth of Bolt Tower to help them with that, then there really isn't much you can do to stop them, I'm afraid. Honestly, considering running more HP on Fjorm, HP plus five. Well, the good news is that is bonus season the Sentinel Blade Gun, so we won't have these problems in the future. Next up, Regan, plus one. A Sentinel Blade Gun back at plus ten this time. But no Bolt Tower backing her up. Plumeria, plus ten. Oh, we've got some merges here. Brave Hector, plus ten. A Sentinel Fjorm, plus ten. Life and Death build. And Naga, plus ten. As we approach here, we're again taking a look at, I'm guessing, Arden or one or the other. Don't know what they're waiting for. Okay, poke at Marabolus as expected. And Mirabilis, with her build, is going to um, not die. So that's what Mirabilis does. And... Alright, um, sure. Just give up, I guess. Not even going to try your luck at tanking with your save units? I mean, it makes my life easier, at least. But, um... Sure, okay. Next. Battle, it is Valentine's Fae plus one, Flame, Druidon plus eight, very strong unit, Naga plus four, Regan, and in the final slot, Legendary Edelgard plus two. Wonder what the approach is here. Some kind of safe ball strategy, I'm guessing, but there could be some surprises here what with that legendary Edelgard um yeah I'm guessing this is the kind of angle that they're taking no? okay change of plans But there's four turns down with no real action on to turn five now. Whatever they're looking for, they do not see it. Turn six, this is their last chance to try and take some combats in enemy phase. As they do. Setting up for some kind of save strategy here. The save coverage isn't actually very good. Valentine's play all the way over at the side there. Not that it matters because he is getting picked off first. A by legendary Byler. So and now Pink Floor are going to do the obvious Pink Floor thing and just you obliterate the legendary Elgar. There we go. Keep it going. Seras, how do you do against Joe Um, Joe 
he is getting dragon effectiveness from Naga, so not as well as you might like. Luckily, 7 HP means not a lot of healing coming out of that ether. Drew it on down to only 15 hit points. But 15 is still plenty when it comes to tanking Fjorn. Well, they're still entirely out of luck though, because they have no more turns. This is the final turn. They can't kill the whole team in one turn. They have to give up. So, anyone else got any better ideas? Team is here. It's the return of Ninjorin. Four, the new mythic. Plumeria at plus one. Okay. Regan plus three. Uh, Jeropiani and Minion. Dancer, that, well, all Minions are Dancer Minions, but this one's a slightly different Dancer Minion. Um, Tome Minion as opposed to Drip. Dr is, is that your final answer? Is, is that. You, you do realize that um, that is, in fact, in range of my units. Please tell me that this was planned, not just a misclick. So anyway, Joe, Pian, Ninja, and neither of them are very good tanks, it turns out. <laughs> oh goodness, I hope for your sake that was a misclick, because if it wasn't, then um, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Why would you do that? Another battle coming up. Uh, Marth is back. This time it's Legendary Marth at plus seven. Got a pretty good refine recently. It's in Fjorn plus one for Gustav. Naga at plus three. And Regan plus two. What's for play? Um, save is for play. And it might get you a little way, but I doubt it's going to get you very far, because you see we have a little friend called Flora. And what Flora does to your save units, that's what Flora does to your save units. Take note. Gustav next. Legendary Byleth is going to make short work of him. Here is something to believe in! Alphonse, forgive me. And now Saros is still going to miss a kill again. Gosh dang it, Saros. Three hit points. Well, to be fair, it is four. You can't beat four. Four is immensely powerful. How are you going to... Well, anyway, you took enough of a chunk out of their team for them to give up. That's good enough. Hehehehe. <laughs> Now, who dares challenge me? Um, here's for team Plumeria, plus one. New Year's Valoria, Regin, plus two. Henriette, base kit, no merges, four. And Ashera, at plus two. Interesting to see what their approach here is, or indeed, isn't. Looks like Valoria is their tank unit, understandable. And this for their play, while well, they're getting guarded down. Seros, ooh, going first. Is she actually... Well, she's not dead, but um, she's close to dead. Byleth. Sublime Heaven, how much is that going to do? Nothing. Big old I nothing. Holding back. And Byleth's Wind Sweep doesn't work because she is, in fact, a Tome unit. Luckily, here's our Henriette Killer. 
Yeah, this looks pretty convincing. I am holding back. Glaciers. Glaciers for four cooldown special. Charged by four Renew Mythic, who gives special cooldown charge to allies within her radius. And I'd like to point out, I'd like to point out, that strategy only works out because Henriette missed getting hit by the ruse, and it only works because Henriette was getting hit by a Ketria or by a brave weapon enabled by Ketria. Had it been anyone else, or, well, had it been just a regular floor, uh, or had the sets just lined up a little differently, that would not have worked. So bringing it into play anyway is a very bold strategy, and it has, by the looks of things, worked out for them. In case we get to kill Mirabilis. And now the final barrier between them and victory is Arden. How are you going to beat Arden, guys? How are you going to beat him? He's invincible. Nothing can kill him. Except um, things that hit his resistance stat. Guess which stat Ashera hits. Well, anyway, uh, they won that one using a strategy that, by all accounts, would, like, very bold. Very bold. There's a lot of ways that could have gone wrong, and yet they made it go right. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that, though I am still salty. Um, <laughs> next up, we have Fallen. Edelgard, Naga, plus two, Regan, Flame, plus one, uh, Plain Old Regular Ass Fjorm, plus one, and Brave Hector, plus six. No save on that Brave Hector. This is, in fact, a full Edelgard play right up onto the defense tile. Um, back off the defense tile, actually. We don't want that defense tile anymore. Healing is more important, because we did just check that bolt trail. And how's it going to go? Well, I predict not very well for this Fallen Guard. The Sublime Heaven cuts through damage reduction and also just does a heck ton of damage against any normal unit. Technic Flora kills. Flame should not be taking anything anyway, but um, now that Flame is extra dead because it was Picnic Flora. And another really rapid surrender forced out there. We're just churning these out today. And last, but not least, um, whatever the heck this is, it is Altina plus two, Oregon plus two, uh, full nail guard, uh, Plumeria plus two, uh, regular Corin plus ten. He's paired with full nail guard and Fjorm plus two. Good old regular Corin is going to be giving her a lot of stat buffs if he's in range, which he's probably going to be in range. That's probably how they're planning on playing this one. Yep, setting up for something. Okay, repo her in. Mm-hmm. Clever guard plays there. And now just let her sit on the front doorstep of the team. She does have a defense tile. But we have ruses of our own and well. Call an edel guard. It's not a problem for our picnic flora. 
nor for that matter are the rest of your units. Regan, goodbye. You get slapped with a big old sword. Next up, Corrin. Corrin doesn't stand a chance either. You get to see an iceberg. Ooh, 86, big iceberg. Yeah. And that, my friends, that's the end of the season. We did take a couple losses there, but nothing too significant. So we are in tier 39. We love tier 39. It's a great tier to be in. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, if this is coming out a bit late, it's because I'm really busy over Christmas. Really busy. Really blooming busy. Um, also, I'm a bit ill. Well, I'm powering through anyway to give you this video, so be thankful. Because, you know, some things are more important to me than coughing my lungs out. Speaking of which, I'm going to take a moment to cough my lungs out, so goodbye.